Good morning, so I just uh, finished packing up, so I'm just about to be ready to head to my car to start driving. Well, and the surprise is that we are going to Algonquin Park, or the Algonquin Highlands, where we're going to be exploring, hiking, and checking out some awesome places. It's like a new park. <laughs> grab a little coffee uh, it's starting to get a little bit darker so we're gonna see how that goes but we've got maybe about a hour and a bit in order to get to the cottage which I'm super excited about and then I'll introduce uh, Bethany she is an amazing person she's actually been running hotels since I've basically known her uh, we actually met in India. She's a close friend, a best friend of mine. Uh, she came to a wedding there while I was there. And uh, at that time, she was actually running basically a castle in Ireland. So she has a lot of really great stories um, in the hotel and I guess state industry. So I guess we'll maybe she'll share one for us while, uh, while we're there. A quick pit stop and then we're going to be on our way. So it looks like we've made it to Huntsville. We are 2.6 kilometers from the road that will take us to the resort. It's still pretty rainy, but less so at least. Turn left. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate when I don't know where I'm going. This is Miller Lake Resort. This is the main house. If you walk this way, we're gonna go towards the water. Super pretty. Super nice inside, it's very modern. And like the view right in front. Whoa. This is Bethany. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, so she is the one that helps run this place. How many uh, cottages are in here? Seven. Seven cottages, beautiful beach and lake. But we are basically gonna now go and uh where is it that forest called oh, uh limber laws uh, forest reserve limber laws forest reserve so we're gonna go up and find a hike since the day is cooperating and uh we're gonna go from there okay so we are in the trail called solitaire trail and it's actually full of cottages here uh, Bethany was telling me that it was a private land that was actually sold so there were cottages here before and now they're kind of there permanent but what a great spot to go to the beach there's literally nobody here right now just check it out looks like a mirror right now Go, go, go. Okay. Um, this is the sketchiest bridge I've ever seen. This is the way out, apparently. Oh, oh no. There she goes. She's a tester. I weigh way more than her, so I'm a little nervous. Okay, you can do it. Yes, so we, uh, we went the wrong way, guys. I have to go back the sketchy way and not die. Here's Bethany gonna film me. Okay. 
Okay, here we go again. You can do this. Just of some sketchy wood. You think this is like more than sketchy? Okay. Yeah, try yeah, try. There you go. They're crazy, these mosquitoes. How do I get on? Oh, made it! Yay! <laughs> Don't die, Bethany. I know, I have, your can I have your phone. I won't drop it. You're way lighter than me. Okay. <laughs> I heard the wood crack. There we go, and we're back on solid <laughs> ground. So we've reached an actual quartz deposit. I've never seen this in real life. But this rock is entirely made of quartz. If you want to take a look here, the actual rock here is quartz, so it's like sparkly. <sighs> so beautiful in here. Okay, so I'm, we made it after the hike. We're back in the car. I am literally disgusting. It was super humid today. So I am literally soaked top to bottom. My pants literally look a different shade. <laughs> but um, we're now gonna head into Huntsville. We're gonna get some supplies for tomorrow, like some snacks and stuff. Gonna grab some dinner and gonna get a really cold drink. Really looking forward to that. We're back at the cottage. It's raining, but we're sitting at the dock underneath this beautiful awning or little like roof cover. Check it out. Very nice. <laughs> Got my trusty videographer here. Perfect. And uh, so today we went to Timberloss. A Limberloss. Limber Lim Limberloss. Forest Reserve. Forest Reserve. Limberloss Forest Reserve, um, which is next to a provincial park, which, oh my god, I don't know. J. Bauer. Uh, J. Albert Bauer. J. Albert Bauer. Provincial Park. Provincial Park, which I didn't even know there was a provincial park right next to it. It was amazing. So we did a 6.3 loop. Uh, lots of really, really cool spots. So I'll put the link below if you want to go check it out. It's a very quiet lake. Um, there's a really nice beach. Oh my god, the mosquitoes! <laughs> it's a really quiet lake, so I'm sure you could just bring up your paddleboard or your canoe if you wanted to just go hang by the beach. And it's literally the best. Like, super tranquil, super quiet. Um, we did encounter some uh, fun little mis mishaps along the way. I'm sure you saw it. So tomorrow we are going to be going to Algonquin Park. We are waking really nice up and early. We're going to be heading out of here at 7 to try and get the some shots of some animals or at least go go see some because in the morning and dusk is the best time to go see it. Algonquin Park has a really great chance of spotting moose. It's one of the uh, parks that has the most moose per meter or per kilometer. There's, a, I think, over 2,300 moose in the park itself. So... I've been there a few times and every time I've seen moose, so it's really great. Uh, you can also see other animals like bears, wolves, chipmunks, and lots and lots of birds. So it's a really great spot if you want to go see wildlife. Tomorrow we're going to go to Centennial Ridge Trail. That's what we're doing. It's about a 10.7 kilometer loop, which takes us some, some incredible vistas. We're going to see what the rain's going to be like. So it might be a muddy vista and a foggy vista, but um, it's going to be really great. And I'll give you guys some uh, Algonquin facts tomorrow morning. So I hope you guys have a good night and I hope you enjoyed this beautiful view with me. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that was, but it was like a fish or something. It's gone now. It's gone. <laughs> anyway, um, see you guys.
Y ya mis huevitos, tocineta, some nice mushrooms, my coffee. Good morning, so it's not 6 a.m. We both put our alarms and uh, we kind of literally forgot about it. So that was kind of funny. But um, we are basically heading out probably like in 45 minutes. Out, we're gonna go do the Centennial Ridge Trail. Maybe we'll see some animals, maybe not, but we're gonna be out there all day and it's gonna be really nice. So the it's about 10.7 kilometers, it overlooks a really beautiful ridge with amazing views and it's not raining yet, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I am gonna go prepared. So whenever I go hiking, um, I always take uh, the basics, which is you should always have a first aid kit. Um, I always, for anything, I think over 7K, I always take a first aid kit, something to make a fire like a little flint lighter or something and then I also take like an emergency blanket just in case I'll also be taking my three liter water pack because I get very dehydrated very quick we're also going to take lunch uh, with us because we like to take our time and probably by then we'll, it'll be lunch time I also will be taking my poles because it rained yesterday uh, so that I can have a little bit more stability. What else am I taking? Obviously my camera gear. Uh, I usually try and film with minimal. What else am I taking? Uh, I think that's about it just for this hike. Um, oh, and my rain jacket. So I don't ever really take umbrellas. They're kind of bulky considering everything else I take. And then in the car, I'm also going to have... A change of clothes and a towel there just because especially like walking on rainy weather the worst thing would be to like get back to your car and you're soaked and you don't have anything at all to change into so that's gonna be that uh, beyond that uh, photography might be very minimal like it'll be day so it'll be kind of like yesterday uh, it was not sunset on sunrise yesterday's sunset wasn't really a sunset uh, that I like. I like to see like the change of colors and this morning was gray. Like we did wake up to see it but it was like really really dark so even if we have left like it was a little bit too dark for me anyway. And we are heading off. Just gonna put my seatbelt. Gonquin is about 30 minutes from the cottage here um, but we're gonna stop at the sign and stuff. <laughs> Starting to rain, but we're coming into Algonquin. We're just gonna stop at the West Gate, which is where you get your permits, or if you're gonna go camping, uh, you just basically go right there to get your information and you can get maps and stuff. So, this is where you would get your permit. Oh my gosh, it's starting to rain now. But we have it's actually free Mondays to Thursdays this year. Which is great. So we're just gonna get a map. All we need. This is the uh, map, just so you guys can see like how big it is. So it's about 56 kilometers long. That's just like the width of Algonquin. It doesn't even take into account the height. Uh, these are the most fa famous or popular trails. Uh, we're actually going to do number nine, Centennial Ridges, obviously if the weather still kind of cooperates, which is closer to the west, uh, sorry, the east side of the park. It's right here. And it overlooks Whitefish Lake. Uh, the great thing about th this park too is I've also been to the Algonquin Logging Museum, which is an outdoor trail exhibit which tells the history of Algonquin. Um, the actual land was actually used back in like the 1800s for logging. So there's a lot of really interesting logging information uh, in that museum and it's actually a really cool walk as well. So very easy, very easily accessible. I think anybody can do it. There's no like weird rocks or anything. So I would even think somebody in a wheelchair could do it. Amkran is actually Ontario's first provincial park. It's also one of the largest and also one of the most 
remote so there's actually a lot of backpacking options available here or for you to be able to go to the bush um but it's really really cool um all right now we're gonna drive the entirety of the highway 60 corridor because it's raining really hard is it something to do to maybe wait for the rain to kind of die down and um, even the drive would be really nice i don't know if animals are gonna come out in the rain like this but uh it's, it's a really great drive. It's only about 50k, so you can do about an hour each way. Plus, Centennial Bridges is on the east side, so it's going to give us a really great vantage point. And for you guys to see. <laughs> the start of it centennial ridge so there's a road and then i guess we park and then uh, we hike from there uh, so it's close to 12 so we should be done the hike around oh rocky oh fun <laughs> we should be done the hike around 6 p.m it's been on and off rain so hopefully it's more it stays kind of like that on and off so it's not a, a horrible experience for us because it's really it's nice to hike in the rain, but if it's torrential downpour, nobody likes that. Made it to Centennial Ridges, so now we're just about to park the car. Welcome to Centennial Ridges. Hopefully we make it through okay. I mean, brought everything we need. Very cool. This 10 kilometer loop. Um, it's the demanding, it climbs a total of 300 meters and needs six hours so we'll be done around like 6 30 and uh so trail guide in there with like information so we'll get to see some of the cool stuff you ready yeah awesome. yeah cute little stream here Uh, going to the second post which from here on out is basically all gonna go uh, up after this little spot knowing me I'm gonna sweat like a pig and my whole body will become bathed in my own sweat so that's gonna be fun but uh, it's really really pretty I literally have to cross all this muddy stuff slash river stuff. Oh, that sounds so cool. We're on top of one of the viewpoints now. To a lake. Look at the little chipmunk there. Pipe chipmunk. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. So it's raining really hard actually. Um, can't really see outside. I am soaked. Bethany's wearing better gear than I am. <laughs> but I mean, it's still super pretty, but like, holy shit, it's raining. <sighs> and uh, being plus size, being kind of out of shape right now. <laughs> um, yeah, this rain jacket that's supposed to keep the rain in, well, uh, I've sweated so much, I should have just had it off. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we're gonna keep going. Alright, so we made it to some lake. We're all going downhill right now, and then uh, there's one more big uphill, and then it's downhill the rest of the way. Uh, it's been a really great hike and I'm sure you've seen some really nice views so far. Definitely called Centennial Ridges for a reason and uh, highly recommend it. So. I've, uh, it's probably like the worst of hiking. Uh, Bethany has the bug spray, but it's been like nonstop since oh, since we've started the hike, and it's just like never ending. Now that we're wet, it's even worse, honestly. So I'm gonna see how many bug bites I have after this trip. Oh, and uh, see what happens. Welcome to Whitefish Lake. Holy cow. Really nice island there. So this is the closest we've been to the last little spot here. So we've got to hit number 11, which is just a little bit higher up. But I mean, Oh my god, the view! Wow. I literally can't get any better than this. And this is all in one hike. So, for Ontario, just inside. Oh, there's a little beach there. Oh, it's so nice. Anyway, highly recommend this hike. Like, holy shit. It's insane. We are exhausted though. I mean, it's only. 10.7 kilometers but it's a lot of roots it's a lot of rocks and today with the rain oh my gosh it was just like devastating <laughs> so um we're about to finish probably in like an hour um after this is just downhill and then we'll be heading to the car uh tomorrow uh it's my last day here but i'll be taking you guys to a waterfall uh close to the resort maybe i'll go in the water that'd be super nice and then i'll be heading home so just driving we're getting out of here we had a little moment right at the end where bethany had to uh you know use the side you know nature toilets and then i don't know what happened but we kind of lost each other so we ended up meeting at the parking lot both of us very confused and it just kind of goes to show like how easy you can get lost so whenever you're on the trail just make sure that uh, you have enough uh, data or a way to kind of connect each other her phone died so it was just right at the end of the trail which is fine but if you're ever doing a longer hike uh, I would even recommend getting uh, something to be able to just connect with somebody in case you need help or anything like that. So we're just heading out. That was a very hard trail. And I think it was just harder because it had rained. So now we get to relax. I am gonna eat like a queen. So excited. Gracias a Dios. We made it out, eh Bethany? Yeah, we're out. <laughs> yeah, Bethany is literally like done. She's like, kill me now. <laughs> I, wanna, I want a nap. 
I know that trail <laughs> that trail really like took all of our energy so if you ever want to do it just take a whole day to do it um, anyways I hope you all have a good night maybe I'll show some of after this or not I'm not really sure we're both really pooped so um, otherwise I'll see you guys in the morning decided to come out and do a little kayak ride it's actually really nice I'm gonna show you guys what the resort if my battery allows it's actually this little guy I've seen you guys saw the hut on the left there um, so I haven't gone out for much but um, it's super nice here's my kayak you can kind of see it right go wide here's my kayak I'm kind of not paddling right now obviously for safety reasons because I can't like can't really get it so um, super nice really happy to be here yeah and I, I love the water especially at sunset like look at this view yeah okay so I said goodbye to Bethany she actually had to work a little bit goodbye to the cottage and let's head out to that waterfall. Um, I had a really great time here. It's amazing. Uh, so if anybody wants to book the property, uh, you can do so. However, uh, because of COVID, they're only doing, uh, I believe, one week, uh, one week reservations. But it's really, really nice if you wanted like a more relaxed kind of vacation. And they're really, really pretty. And waterfront's right there. They include like kayaks and everything. So it's like a really great place. So I'll put the link down below uh, in the comment section. And uh, you'll be able to book there if you want directly. And you, you'll be able to talk to Bethany. Uh, so I guess let's head to the next part. So just entering Ragged Falls Road, which is a little bumpy. Um, we're basically going to Oxtung, or I'm not sure if it's uh, said that way, um, or Otong, uh, because English is a weird language, and sometimes I don't know. So I'm gonna call it Oxtung, because I feel like it's like the animal tongue, but anyway, uh, we're going up Ragged Falls Road literally one kilometer like it's super short um, it's a great little trail like when you're doing it on the side and stuff I've never been here um, I had to put my nasty my nasty ass hikers just because it's super disgusting um, they fenced it in unfortunately The water is also super crazy because of the rains. I mean, this river has rapids, so it's already pretty full in general. But it's made the waterfall go crazy. Uh, sadly, it's fenced off in those spots. It's raining again oh my gosh I can't catch a break <laughs> all I wanted was like an hour of no rain and of course I get the rain so um, just gonna wait it out a little bit because I want to do a quick ASMR video and then uh, then I'll be heading back so these falls are really really nice but very very full so when hiking in the rain, you have to kind of keep an eye out on the water levels because uh, maybe it just started raining here, but maybe it's been pouring up rivers. So uh, just always be careful when you're hiking near rivers and waterfalls, especially if it's one this size. Uh, you definitely don't want to be if like there's some flash flooding or something. If 
you guys want to rent a canoe or kayak, the Algonquin Outfitters has been in business for over 50 years. They also do wilderness canoe trips, so they're a really awesome company. Right in Algonquin, there's a lake right Oxtong Lake. Um, they're right in front of it. And uh, I believe you can also come and pick up and everything. There's actually a little trail here. Beaver Creek Trail or something. Um, but highly recommend it. So I decided to do a little bit of a detour and actually take the long way home. And this ended up uh, making me find myself in a place called the Frost Center in the Algonquin Highlands. So everything we've been doing is in the Algonquin kind of area. So just south of Dorset. We're going to be doing a very short hike. So we're just going to take that Lakeshore Trail, which is just about one kilometer and then we're gonna go the fire tower trail which is 1.2 maybe sleep rock super nice so i'm just gonna take you guys around so you can also rent uh canoes and everything here as well as go backpacking isn't that cool i didn't even hear about this place i just kind of like went for it so i have a like cute little dock here like super nice So far these trails are really well marked, um, it was actually free to get here, so you didn't need to pay anything, which is amazing, and at every um, split there's also um, a map so you know which way to go. So this would actually be a really good introductory hike for uh, plus size or new beginner hikers that are interested in kind of learning more. Um, very well marked and very easily accessible. Oh, looks like it might rain again. Literally every time I come, <laughs> there's some rain happening. So I might, uh, I really don't want to get super, super soaked. So I'm probably just going to turn around and uh, head back to the car after this. I'm gonna head back because I've heard some thunder and uh, being that I'm just day hiking I do not want to risk it being with tall trees and stuff so I'm uh, heading back and uh, we were gonna go on the fire tower trail uh, to check out the fire tower but uh, we're just gonna cut it short and maybe next time we come here we'll uh, go and do it because this area is amazing I know I feel super bad leaving guys but uh, I've gotten rained on more than enough on this trip and uh, it's just getting to the point where I want to be dry you know so it's just like one of those times where you <clears throat> decide while you're hiking like what you want to do and that's the beauty of hiking you get to choose whatever you want to do and whatever makes you feel safe because being out here alone as well like yesterday and the day before I had Bethany but today is just me so if anything happens to me I just uh, be hard for me to get help right so uh, yeah <laughs> um, really gonna come down now ah! <laughs> I'm talking about freaking rain again <laughs> I hope that you have enjoyed watching me checking out the Algonquin Highlands and nearby areas um, it has really been great taking you on a tour with me um, I would love for you to subscribe if you want to see me more on adventures or if you want to know more about me. Um, I'll be doing lots of more of these videos throughout the summer. And thanks for following. Uh, pura vida. Uh, chao, adios. And thanks for watching.